Today, I consider myself the luckiest guy on the planet. Thank you, LeBron you James. <laughs> Woo! It's a yeah. Thursday morning. It's FS1. It's the Carton Show. As always, Mr. Cody Decker right there. And my main man, Green Bay Packer Hall of Famer, Mr. Greg Jennings. And we start every Thursday morning off the same exact way with a little something we like to call... Headlines! That's right. Nobody thought LeBron James was going to retire because he wasn't going to retire. We all know he wants to play with his son, and he can't live in a world without people talking about him. So last night at an award show in Vegas, he comes out on stage and he says the following. Let's listen to it for ourselves so we can all vomit together. Here's LeBron James last night. I don't care how many more points I score yeah, you do. or what I can or cannot do on the floor. Yes, you do. The real question for me is what? Can I play without cheating this game? Hmm. The day I can't give the game everything on the floor is the day I'll be done. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. Woo! Oh. God, oh. lucky for us, oh. LeBron James is not retiring yet, so we can watch him play another season <laughs> without winning a championship. <laughs> Thank the Lord that LeBron James Thank is you, coming. LeBron! I mean, uh. you talk about the most tone-deaf dude in the history of professional sports. It's that guy, and I'm, I have to tell you this, I kind of like it now. What? It's my, <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? Oh, yeah, let's go, Greggy. What in a, world are you in? In a very strange way, Cody, it's now becoming kind of endearing to me. You know, the annual event of will I retire or won't I? I'm going to make you wait until the ESPYs. Like, we even time a real award show. It's actually, it's actually a pretty quick decision. Uh, it's Listen, all we've heard the entire offseason is that he wants to play with Bronny, who's not an NBA player. So, what, now he's going to retire? Of course he's not going to retire. And, oh, by the way, he's too good to retire. What he averaged last year, 28 points a game? It was monster. Like, year. the game has not passed him by yet. So, having LeBron James as a part of the NBA, look, it's a good thing for all of us. We're all NBA fans. I take my shots because it's fun to do it. And LeBron James, one of the greatest players to ever play. But this guy loves the camera. This guy loves people talking about him. And I'm obliging him. And the move I really was waiting for last night, and thank you, LeBron, because you gave it to me, and you gave it to me good, Ugh. was the stupid crown doing <laughs> doing. Oh, come on. Like, what? Come oh. on, man. I think, you know what the NBA should do? The NBA should buy him Staten Island and just make him the king of it. Right? <laughs> this guy is dying to walk around town with a king's crown on. Maybe he should go on Gilbert Arenas' podcast. I don't know. Why are you oh focusing on that gosh, and not focusing dude. on the fact that he was wearing a general's outfit? Yeah, no, his, his clothing is usually beyond, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, approach, reproach, or something, whatever. It's something. Dude, dude dresses better than I do, yeah. so I really? can't take shots. I'm not sure what that thing is on the right breast, but it is what it is. Uh, and LeBron James is coming back for his 93rd season, and I'm very happy about that.